What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeO.com, and I am back with my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Tuesday, January 25th. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Only place you'll get updates to my sims as we get closer to lock. Let me know in the comments section who is your favorite and least favorite of my contenders for today's slate. And finally, shout out to Prize Picks for being the presenting sponsor of this video on the banner to my left. Osmo.com slash prize picks dash promo. One free month of Osmo Plus Platinum, a deposit bonus, and access to the free player props tool that we have on the website. You cannot beat that deal. Now we're rounding out the bottom of my top 10 with Jonas Valanciunas, Scotty Barnes, Keldon Johnson, Anthony Edwards, and Kevin Porter Jr. on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? It's time to find out. In first at number five, we've got Furkan Korkmaz, shooting guard, small forward, eligible, 4,400, projected for 28. The goal is 35. He's in the optimal lineup 23% of the time. I gave him 35 minutes. We've got no uh, Seth Curry. I almost said Steph Curry. No Seth Curry in this one, plus everybody else that has been out. Danny Green. uh, Who else am I missing? Who else am I missing? Shake Milton. I knew the names were in my brain somewhere, which means Korkmaz just kind of has to play more. 15 points out of Korkmaz, four and a half boards, three assists, maybe a steal, slight pace down spot against New Orleans, but really, it doesn't matter. He's projected to play a lot more minutes than you would normally expect. The salary would be a little bit higher. Take the value when you can. At number two, sorry, at number four, we're at point guard Fred Van Vliet. He's 8,200, projected for 46. The goal is 56. He's in the optimal lineup 26% of the time. He's playing 40 minutes a game, and that's just like par for the course. 1.15 fantasy points per minute in this spot because of the giant pace-up matchup against the Charlotte Hornets. 24% usage for Van Vliet, 22.5 points, 8 assists, and and 5.5 boards, plus 2.5 stocks. Van Vliet was like 10K two weeks ago. Now down to 8,200, and nothing's changed. He's probably playing more now than he was then. This one's a no-brainer to me. Because of that playing time, I don't know how you avoid playing Fred Van Vliet at 8,200. At number three, we've got my boy Tyrese Maxey. Speaking of guys that are playing basically 40 minutes a game, we've got Maxey. I've got him in for 39. Point guard, shooting guard, eligible 5,900. Projected for 32.5. The goal is 43.5, and and he is in the optimal lineup 26% of the time. He's basically like a 0.85 fantasy point per minute guy. It's mostly scoring, 17 points, five assists. You get four boards, maybe a stock and a half. He's kind of just in and around like his projection every day. 32 just seems pretty reasonable. But if you can sneak up to that 40 range, if he finds an extra steal or something, an extra three or two happens to go in, Tyrese Maxey at 40 fantasy points, you're not going to be too mad about that on a day like today. Back to Toronto for the number two spot, small forward, power forward, eligible OG Ananobi. 6,300, projected for 37, goals 46, and he is in the optimal lineup 27% of the time. Another guy playing monstrous minutes, I gave him 38. He's just shy of a fantasy point per minute guy in this matchup. Again, a not good Hornets defense in a pace up spot. They gained two and a half possessions over their average, 19 points for Ananobi, seven and a half boards, and then three assists, two steals, maybe a block. We're rounding up a little bit there, but I think it all looks fine. I love getting to Ananobi. I love getting to really anything from Toronto in this matchup because these guys play so many minutes in competitive games. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments who your favorite plays are, and then go sign up at Prize Picks using the link awesomeocom slash dash promo. Number one contender here is very easy. James Harden, shooting guard, small forward, eligible, 10,500, projected for 62 and a half. The goal is 68 and a half, and he's in the optimal lineup 35% of the time. I gave him 38 minutes. We've got no Kyrie Irving because this is a home game. Durant's still out, so 1.64 fantasy points per minute in a pace-up spot against a crappy Lakers team. I got him projected for a triple-double. 30 real points, 11 and a half assists, and 11 rebounds, plus two stocks. Do not overthink it today on FanDuel. It is not even particularly close. James Harden is your number one contender today with a bullet. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Tuesday, January 25th. DraftKings and Yahoo versions of this video are around here somewhere. Check them out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win that money. Back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.